it is August 31st, 2021. And we've got another decent day of some uh, monsoon activity out here in the southeast desert of California. And uh, right now I'm, I'm looking right here at a developing cell ahead of a large line of uh, strong and powerful thunderstorms that are moving across uh, the southeastern desert of California. They had formed along the Arizona-California border near the town of Blythe and they are now propagating toward the west and expanding to the north and south. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to be tracking this whole entire line that's, uh, that's stretching from north to south right here near the entrance of Joshua Tree National Park just north of Interstate 10. So the conditions responsible for this is a cutoff low that is parked off the coast of Southern California. And what it's doing is it is drawing in monsoonal moisture that had been in Northwest Mexico and Arizona. These thunderstorms are forming along the eastern quadrant, the northeastern quadrant of the low in the area of Difluence. I'm gonna be watching this cell right here that's uh, forming almost on top of me. It's looking pretty good. Conditions are good. There's a lot of inflow right now. You can kind of hear it right, right on the camera here. Uh, so I'll be sitting here for a little while and watching this thing. Look at this thing, almost directly overhead. Gorgeous. this one cell right over here it's uh, really cranking up I actually see what looks like a little bit of lowering right about in this area right in here Got a little bit of had a little bit of a nub coming down. It might have been a brief funnel. Alright, looks like we got a wall right there in the center. Look at that. We got a really nice storm forming right in front of me. It's a little bit of inflow on the right in the view there. Um, getting a little bit shelfy. So the cell cell behind me is looking pretty good. Um, it's got ha, it has a little bit of some shelf features on it. It was um, a little bit more shelfy a few minutes ago. Um, did see a wall in this little area right here with a little nub kind of sticking down. I uh, wasn't sure if it was rotating. I'm going to have to go back on video and look at that. But this thing is looking pretty good. Let me see if I can just try to get uh, a little bit more exposure. There we go. So uh, I'm enjoying this one right now. This is looking toward the northeast.
The sail uh, is really cranking up really good right now. Um, it hasn't gone worn yet. Looking at the storm, we actually have a wall cloud right there. This storm is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning looking. Hopefully we're gonna get something drop out of that thing. Yes, we got a wall right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Got a wall. absolute beast of a storm approaching me this thing is this thing is a monster it already produced a a uh, wall cloud out in this uh, out in this area right over here um, had a little bit of uh, it had some rotation in this area right here um, it's just just stunning just absolutely stunning holy mackerel look at this thing hear this but continuous thunder continuous flashes of lightning
camera out, but I uh, couldn't get it in time. Frontage Road and lost my hat. Anyway, there's a, there's a wall right here. And, uh, I'm keeping an eye on it. I keep losing my hat. Okay, so anyway, let's see what I can do here. Alright, so I got a wall right there. Okay guys, this right here. Right there. Pretty much all the main storm activity has kind of dissipated and it's pretty much just uh, widespread rain. So I'm going to end the chase here, heading on home. Um, I'm heading into Indio and it uh, looks like that'll be where the edge of the remnants of the storm complex uh, is located. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll wait and see when the next monsoon event is going to happen which will probably be uh, next week sometime so until then see ya